Have you ever wondered how a grenade works? What makes it such a potent tool in military operations? Welcome to the intriguing world of grenades, a realm where science meets strategy and design meets destruction. Grenades are small explosive devices that can be thrown by hand or launched from a rifle. Although their form may vary, their function remains the same, to wreak havoc and disorient the enemy. But did you know that the concept of a grenade is not a modern invention? It dates back to the Byzantine Empire where they used jars filled with Greek fire, an incendiary weapon, and launched them at their enemies. Talk about a fiery history. Fast forward to today, grenades have become a staple in military operations worldwide. The reason? Their versatility. These handheld devices can be tailored to fit a variety of situations. For instance, in urban warfare, where visibility is often low, smoke grenades are used to create a visual screen, aiding in tactical movements. On the other hand, fragmentation grenades, the most common type, are designed to disperse lethal fragments upon detonation, causing widespread damage. These are often used in open combat scenarios. Then we have incendiary grenades, which are designed to start fires. They are filled with substances like white phosphorus or thermite that burn intensely. These grenades are used to destroy equipment, clear vegetation, or create smoke screens. But let's not forget about stun grenades, also known as flashbangs. These grenades are used to temporarily disorient an enemy's senses without causing permanent injury. They're the perfect tool for surprise attacks or hostage rescue missions. Grenades are a testament to human ingenuity turning a simple concept into a sophisticated device that can adapt and overcome in numerous combat scenarios. Now that we know what a grenade is and its various types, it's time to dive into the inner mechanics of this powerful device. Get ready to get your mind blown. In order to understand how a grenade works, we first need to understand its anatomy. Imagine a grenade as a miniature fortress, meticulously engineered for a single explosive purpose. At its core, a grenade has five primary components. The outer shell, the explosive material, the fuse, the striker, and the safety pin. Let's start with the outer shell. This isn't just a protective layer, it's a key player in the grenade's deadly game. Made of hard, rugged material, the shell fragments upon explosion, sending shards flying in all directions. These shards or shrapnel are what make grenades so lethal. Inside this fearsome shell lies the explosive material. This is typically composed of a substance called Composition B, a potent mix of RDX and TNT. When ignited, this material triggers a devastating explosion, further propelling the shell's fragments. Now, let's talk about the fuse and the striker. The fuse is a time-delay mechanism that allows the thrower to retreat to a safe distance before the grenade detonates. The striker, on the other hand, is a spring-loaded firing pin. When the safety pin is removed, the spring drives the striker into a percussion cap, igniting the fuse. Last but certainly not least, we have the safety pin. This tiny piece of metal holds the power to prevent or trigger the grenade's explosion. When the pin is in place, the grenade is safe. But once it's pulled, the grenade is armed and the countdown begins. Each part of a grenade has a specific role to play. The shell provides fragmentation, the explosive material supplies the firepower, the fuse and striker control the timing, and the safety pin acts as the final gatekeeper. But how do they all come together to make the grenade work? Well, that's a tale of precision, timing, and a dash of pyrotechnics. And that's exactly what we're going to delve into next. So, buckle up as we explore the explosive mechanism that makes a grenade more than just a lump of metal. Let's find out in the next scene. Now that we know what's inside a grenade, it's time to see it in action. The working of a grenade is a marvel of mechanical precision and chemical reaction. It all begins with the safety pin. This small metal piece is the keeper of the grenade's rage. When it stays in place, all is calm. But once it's pulled away, the process is set in motion. After the safety pin's removal, the striker is released. Think of this striker as a spring-loaded hammer. It's been kept in check by the safety pin, and once it's free, it strikes a percussion cap. This cap is filled with a highly sensitive explosive compound that ignites upon impact. The striker's hit causes a spark, igniting the compound and beginning a chain of reactions. This spark then ignites the fuse. Now the fuse isn't just a piece of wire, it's a carefully designed piece of kit that burns at a precise speed, providing just the right delay before the main event. This delay allows the person who has thrown the grenade to take cover. The burning fuse then reaches the detonator. 
The detonator is a small tube filled with a sensitive high explosive. The heat from the fuse causes this explosive to detonate. However, the energy released in this small detonation isn't enough to cause the grenade to explode. Instead, it's used to trigger the main charge. The main charge is the heart of the grenade. It's a larger amount of high explosive, usually encased within a metal shell. When the detonator's explosion reaches it, the main charge explodes with tremendous force. This explosion splits the metal shell into fragments, which are propelled outwards at high speed. This is the deadly burst that makes a grenade such a formidable weapon. And that, my friends, is how a grenade works. A small device, but with a complicated and precise mechanism. Let's recap what we've learned today about the workings of a grenade. A grenade, an object so small yet so powerful, is a marvel of engineering, a testament to the ingenuity of human invention. Every component of it, from the safety pin to the explosive material, plays a critical role in its operation. The safety pin is your first line of defense, the keeper of the piece, if you will. It's what ensures that the grenade doesn't go off in your hand. It's like the gatekeeper, holding back the potential chaos within until it's time for action. Next, we have the striker. Think of it as the spark that lights the fuse. It's the trigger, the catalyst, that sets off the sequence of events leading to the explosion. Once the safety pin is removed, the spring-loaded striker is released, striking the primer and igniting the fuse. The fuse is like the ticking clock, the countdown to the explosion. It's a delay mechanism that burns for a few seconds, providing the thrower with enough time to hurl the grenade towards the target and take cover. It's the fuse that bridges the gap between the safety pin's removal and the detonation of the explosive material. And finally, we come to the heart of the grenade, the explosive material. This is what makes a grenade a grenade. Packed tightly within the casing, it's this material that, when detonated, creates the powerful blast capable of causing significant damage. Each part of a grenade, the safety pin, the striker, the fuse, and the explosive material all work in harmony to create a device that, while potentially destructive, is an amazing feat of design and engineering. I hope this has given you a clearer understanding of how a grenade works. Remember, knowledge is power. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.